Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Warmer, Warmer by Randall. So we have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box. We are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these thermometers in the grid. We have a, a sort of a circle which represents the bulb, and then we have a line coming out of it. Um, the circle must be the lowest digit on the thermometer, and then we have to strictly increase from there. So if this was, say, a 2, this has to be bigger than 2. So we could go to 3, we could go to 4, we could go to 5, etc. But then once we pick a digit, say 3, this now has to be bigger than that digit. So this has to be a 4 or a 5, we could go like that. That would be one way to correctly fill this. What we can't do is something like this, because the 4 is not bigger than the 5. Uh, we also can't do this, even though Sudoku would allow us to repeat the 3. The thermometer needs us to be bigger, so we can't even do the 3-3 three, three there. All right. Um, and that's it. Those are the rules, just thermometers. So there's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. Well, I think a pretty clear place to get started if you're used to thermometers is you know that ones can only go, it, it, when talking about thermometer cells, ones can only go in bulbs and sixes can only go in tips. So this row needs a one and the, there's these are all filled by non-thermo bulbs except for one of them, so that's a one. Same with this row, that's a one. Um, sixes are a little bit different. We know there's a six in one of these two. Um, oh, this one looks up and all of these are middle of thermos or ends, so that's a one. And then the one goes here because it can't go there. And the one goes there. I think we can finish the ones. There we go. So ones are done, nice. Um, we could ask about twos now. Um, yeah, two in this row. So two is way too small to go in the, at the tip of these, and it's also too small to go along these. So this has to be the two. And then we have the same issue up here. These are way too far along the thermos, so two goes there. Um, so this two looks down and these can't be two because there's already two on the thermo is, is one argument you can make, but there's other arguments you can make as well. So the two goes there, that two looks in, that two looks down. The two could be in the bulb of this thermometer. In fact, it may have to be. No, this is a two or a three. I, I don't know if that I need to pencil these thermos yet. Um, we're doing pretty well just scanning for low digits. Um, sorry, we do know one of these is six, but I'm thinking about two up here. Yeah, these aren't two. We have the same thing going on here. That's a two. That lets us place this two. Now this thermos four. So this thermos three, four, five, six. That's the only way it can work. Um, and then we need three and four here, and we know the order because of the thermo. Um, up here we need a two and a th uh, three. No, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say that's that's bad. <laughs> no, we need a three and a five. Um, and this three looks up. So that's the three. That's the five. Five is followed by six. This is a four. This is cleaning up very nicely. Um, these have to be five, six, because they see three, four, and we know the order. Um, this is a this is three and four. Can I do this with no marks? Let's see if I can get away with no marks at all. Um, I did corner marks, to be fair. I corner marked some sixes. <laughs> um, five and six are left. Up here, let's see. Yeah, here we need five and six. Those go in that order. Here we need three and four. We don't know the order yet. Um, oh, this is known. This is a two. So this has to be three, four. I think it's symmetric. Um, this is five and six. We know the order. And then this is four and three. And we're done. Nice. Cool. Nice use of this uh, thermo property, Randall. Um, if you if you knew to look for where do ones go, where do twos go, <laughs> um, that basically finishes the puzzle. It's pretty nice. And then like where do sixes go was, uh, uh, I think, useful. Anyway, neat idea. Um, it's cool that it ended up symmetric like that as well. Hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.